um, to start, notice that the integrand here is an even function. That is, this here is even regardless of what n is, meaning that we have symmetry about the y-axis because even functions have symmetry about the y-axis. Therefore, we can write the given as And then next we could do this, which is we could write we're not always allowed this, which is putting the limit uh, inside of the integral is not always allowed. It's allowed when the integrand is uniformly convergent. So here uh, we go from this to this, right? And then next we look at this limit here. Yeah, okay. So. Uh, for this limit here, um, let's consider two cases. The first is when the absolute value of x is less than 1. Notice that absolute value of x is less than 1 amounts to negative 1 is less than x is less than 1. Right? And so for such x's, the limit as n goes to infinity of e to the minus x to the 2n power is e to the 0, which is 1. Right? But what if the absolute value of x is bigger than 1? Then for such x's, the limit as n goes to infinity of e to the minus x to the 2n goes to, right, for uh, x's an absolute value bigger than 1, it goes to e to the um, negative infinity, which is 1 over e to the infinity, which is 0. All right? So this limit here is 1 for x is between negative 1 and 1, and it's 0 for x is outside of that interval, right? Okay, so that means that uh, what we have here is 2 times uh, integral, uh, and I should have uh, written 0 to infinity here, but now we're considering x's that are uh, between uh, negative 1 and 1, but because we use symmetry, we're looking at x's between 0 and 1 now. So double x is 0 to 1, and then we said that for such x's, this here is equal to 1. So you get 1 dx, which is equal to 2x uh, from 0 to 1, which is 2, right? And uh, for x's outside of this interval, so for x's where the absolute value of x is more than 1, right, for such x's, uh, the integral uh, becomes this, right? It becomes uh, integral from 1 to infinity of 0 dx and then double that, right? But wait, the antiderivative of 0 is possibly 0 but also any other constant. So this here, uh, we can't say the value of and therefore for x's outside of this interval, uh, we don't have a value for uh, this integral, right? But for x is in here, the value is 2. Yeah? Okay, cool. All right. This is it for number uh, 12, and then uh, lots more to come. Keep watching. Take care.